Welcome to World War II Online Tutorials, How to Aim and Throw Grenades Accurately. Now you can practice this offline easier by going to the offline mode through your Cornergrat software. Select an avatar, a rifleman or an engineer, somebody who has lots of grenades, so that you can practice several attempts. Now it's best to aim using your weapon by right-clicking and zooming in, lining up with the left-hand side of the window and drawing down until about one quarter to one fifth of the window is showing, depending how close you are. Select your grenade, left click and hold until it auto releases. The reason that you aim to the left of your object is the fact that the grenade comes off of your right shoulder as you release. So if in this case here, I have to aim even more to the left of the target since it is to my left and I have to have more of the window showing in my sight picture since it's further away. Now the Axis players with their stick grenades have a very similar issue, except that the stick grenade has a slightly flatter trajectory than a pineapple grenade. So when you aim in and get your sight picture of the window, you have to have a little bit more showing, and again, depending on the distance that you are from it, but because of the flatter trajectory, show just a little bit more than you do with the pineapple grenade. And here, because I'm quite a ways away, you can see that the I have not only the entire window, that I'm actually just aiming at the floor where the feet would be of the person inside the window, so that when it lobs, it drops right in. Now, if you're going to throw a grenade in through the opening of a doorway, it's best to do it from a good distance, to lie down and then aim directly at the left-hand edge of the door, and since you're lobbing it from a greater distance, you can actually aim towards the middle of the doorway between the ground and the top. Now in offline mode, you have not only the rifle range, but lots of different objects around the rifle range, including armor off to the side out over there, and then this building here, which you can practice. Now you can set up characters. Pressing the space bar, you will leave a character behind these characters will interact with explosions and bullets. Here I decided to throw a grenade in through the window. So I'm going to aim at the left hand edge and down towards their, where their feet would be and based on the distance I am from it. And hopefully the grade that grenade doesn't bounce too far away. And you can see that it landed in a spot that it was able to take out all the characters that were inside the building. Now there are also some open air bunkers which you can set some characters up in and practice either shooting and or lobbing grenades at. So here I set up several characters and I'm going to pretend that I'm snuck up on them. Lying down, I aim about where their feet would be, lob the grenade, and this one took a bounce to the left but because of the blast radius of the grenade, it was still able to take out each of the characters. Speaking of blast radius, satchel charges, which many of the infantry do carry, have a rather large blast radius. So I've set up several characters by pressing spacebar and to show what the blast radius can do with a satchel charge. And the blast radius for grenades can be just as damaging, not as far, but you have to be aware of the approximate size of the, the radius of where it's going to be. So here, taking in account for the fact that the pineapple grenade is going to roll a little bit of a distance once it lands. Now, a word of warning that anytime you come up to a building or a wall and it's off of your right shoulder, you have to be aware, since the grenade is coming off your right shoulder, that it's going to get intercepted by that wall. So you may have to run away and get some distance from the grenade if you've done that. So you want to make sure that if you come up to a wall and it's off your right shoulder, that you're going to take a couple of steps to your left to give yourself some room so that uh, you can throw the grenade safely.
Now, if it's coming off of your left shoulder, you can be right up against it. You don't have to worry about it since your arm is actually going around that left-hand side. I've slowed it down here so you can see it. And then, of course, if you've aimed properly, the grenade will go into that loft up above and explode. Thank you for watching World War II Online tutorials on how to throw grenades accurately.